as the plane took off from Tampa to Pennsylvania. My mind raced with excitement. I just could not wait to go after some mountain bucks. It's been a while since I've hunted the mountains, and the lure of it all just was so enticing. Four days of hunting, off the grid, no cell phone service, no work emails, no anything. Just me, some companions, and vast wilderness. Alright guys, so we're heading out here now for our backcountry backpacking trip. Me and Torin. Just got up at 6 o'clock in the morning. So we're ready. We're going to we, go get some breakfast. We had some uh, technical difficulties yesterday. I uh, had left my hammock at my mom's place. So I had to go back and get that. Did some little bit of running around just to fix some quick errands. But we're straight. We're on the road now. So uh, probably next stop, gas, some more coffee. And uh, we'll be on the way for the big woods. We're out. Stay tuned. After a two and a half hour drive, we made it. I'd definitely been away from the mountains for too long. I almost forgot how beautiful they are. Okay, everybody. It's day one of our backpacking trip. Well, first official day. Yesterday we packed in. Set up camp. And I picked a ridge over here. Yesterday evening after we set up base camp, we went scouting for a few hours. I noticed a lot more sign halfway up the mountain than I did at the very top of the mountain. There was plenty of food everywhere, but that halfway area definitely showed a lot of promise. There was rubs and there was also scat, plus lots and lots of acorns. I figured this would be a good spot for day one. I was not 100% sure if this was daytime activity or nighttime activity, but a good sit will definitely help me determine how I will play out the rest of the trip. Okay, so after my sit this morning, I uh, found a lot of sign, a lot of fresh rubs, and a lot of scat. Super, super fresh, probably last night or early this morning, so I sit up right near the Even though on day one I did not find what I was looking for, seeing all this sign was definitely promising. Just spending a whole day outdoors, in the wilderness, the peace, the quiet, it was perfectly splendid. As you saw, I got two piles of fresh cat. Um, definitely looks like it was last night, maybe super early this morning. It hasn't been that cold. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go up here on the smaller hill. It doesn't seem like the bucks are at the top of the mountain. So I figured I'd try some of these smaller mountains. Uh, we got two days left. So today I'm just going to make it an all day trip. I'll pack my lunch so I don't have to go back to camp. And uh, just going to put some boots on the ground and see what we can do. The first two days I had learned a lot. I wanted to work my way up through the drainage ditch into the bowl in hopes of finding the buck's bedding area. One thing about hunting is you have to take in everything that's happening. 
just because you don't see something or it's not going your way doesn't mean it's not happening or it isn't there. It just means you're not there at the right time. I'm hoping if I keep moving around and checking out new areas, I will be able to pattern these deer a little bit better. From what I am seeing though, I'm getting closer every day. There is no question that hunting swamp deer in Florida and hunting mountain deer in northern Pennsylvania are two separate beasts. Everyone always says their state is the hardest to hunt, but I do not believe this. I believe that each state offers its own set of challenges, and you have to be willing to overcome those challenges if you want to succeed. The third day brought cold weather and rain. I ended up jumping the biggest buck I'd ever seen in my life on public land. I did not know this at this moment, but the next day and a half I would be completely obsessed, going all over the mountain range in search of this one creature, just hoping for a chance to get within bow range.